Morning everyone, welcome to Reef and Veep. Uh, we're on this field that I was telling you about uh, on the last video. We've got a one day permission, that is it. So, uh, it's right near a church, it's right near, it's actually used to be called Church Church Farm. So hopefully there should be some medieval stuff here. We've got Alan over there, poncing around with his uh, always breaking metal detector. Yeah. Right, here's the field we've got today guys. Lovely field, early in the morning. Not even half past seven yet, because we've got things to do this afternoon, so we thought we'd get some hours in as early as we could. So, we're here, we're on it, close to the soil, and we'll talk to you later. Right guys, we shall try and dig this one together. Just making sure that the camera's actually working this time, I had problems last week. Right. This was singing up a nice little lakey too, so I'm hopeful on this one, but you never know. Where are you? a bullet. It's a big bullet. 50 cal I reckon. Look at that. Lovely. Alright guys, thought I'd share this one with you. I can see it from here without having to pinpoint it. I've got my first musket ball of the day. Nice. So basically it's two bullets to me. How many bullets you found Al? Ah. Two to me. Oh right, yeah, folks, we're off again. That's what it is. I did see it and I thought I'd show you again. It's another musket ball. I wonder if they're the same calibre. I'll have a look when I clean them up. Yeah, cool. There's three bullets. Three to Alan zero. Well, I thought I'd set you up for this one, guys, because it's an absolutely screaming signal. 49.50 on the simplex. See what we can find. Guess what, guys? It's da -da 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 -da. another musket ball. Yeah. <laughs> so that's three musket balls and a 50 cal. There we go, guys. A nice little flat button. See what the shank on, if you see. And we are now right next to the church, right there, look. So we're working our way around the field. I think we've got six musket balls now, a 50 cal bullet, and now a nice little button. Wicked. And that is my second piece of silver for the day, guys. I'm hammering it over here. Alan didn't found nothing like this yet. <laughs> right, guys, we know what this one is. It's a nice little lead bag seal. I haven't got my glasses on, but does that say Keen on there? Wren or something like that. And on the back, it's got D, S, G. I don't know, I'll have to clean it up when I get home. Another one for the clean up, but yeah, another. We got told earlier this land's been hawked. Well, they haven't done very well, have they? Because the stuff I've found two bits of silver, three, ball, three musket balls, 50 cal round, and now bag seal it. Right, let's have a look at this one together guys, it's ringing up in the 50s, so probably copper or bronze alloy. We'll have a look though, you never know, sometimes the machine does get full. It's actually a lead button, so that's quite old, being lead. Yeah, quite cool. Too small to be a hem weight or a dress weight, so it's got to be a lead button. Nice. Just up, guys, this little buckle, it's still got the root through it. It's actually quite cool. Oh, it's decorated too. That could be quite... No, not as early as I thought. 1800, 1700s. Nice. It feels not too bad for something that's been hawked to pieces. 
Righty ho, we seem to have found a coin. Which I think is a coin. Oh, I dropped it. I'm gentle with it because uh, you know, if you rub it too hard, you lose anything you've got on it. Well, I'll have to wait for the clean up, mate, because I ain't got an absolute clue what that is at the moment. Yes, my first coin today. Looks like a half penny, but I don't know from when. All good, carry on. Hey, <laughs> another buckle. Oh dear, Alan, I hope you're keeping up, son. <laughs> well, guys, this is just up. It's an interesting little doodad. I've got no idea what it is. Might be in front of a button or something. I'll have to clean it up when I get home and have a look. Seems to have some kind of decoration on the front, but I don't know what it is. I thought it was great about it at first, but it's just not. It's going to be an interesting clean up. Hey! <laughs> Let's have a sneaky record of Alan having a dig, shall we? Come on, what you got there then, boy? No oh, idea. Yeah. Oh. Oh, I think my back's starting to go again. Can this plug wherever it is? Tight. Definitely got the spot. Yeah, definitely. Buried somewhere, isn't it? Ah, oh, I don't want to go this. Probably near the surface. Hmm. Huh? Right. 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 Oh, something sharp in there. He's helping point ah. there. Who's your other pinpointer? What Sure, it's in the plug. So you're not doing the cross technique. That's how you zero into where it is. This is what this should do. <laughs> yeah, well, it's not working for you, is it? Where it is, bloody small. Had loads of pipes like this today. Too small for pinpoint to pick up. You'll turn your sensitivity down then. No, up on it, I think. Turn it up on the machine. Whatever it is in there. Ooh, what have we got? Oh, we've got a little hammy. Oh, you beauty. We've got a little hammy. Cross. Oh, lovely. Look at that. <laughs> I cool. couldn't find it, mate. There you go, look. Catch up on the silverware. Oh, wow. Yeah. Right, guys, this is the clean up. Um, first thing up, I will put photographs up, is uh, this seal. It's a cloth seal from the war department, WD, with the war arrow on. And the second seal we found is a Keen, it's got Keen written on that side and DSG on that side, did a bit of research and uh, this particular seal was from a company uh, from between 1903 to 1930, they used to produce mustard. Uh, Coleman's bought them out in 1930 so the seals would have changed then, so that one's quite old.
And we have this buckle that I found, quite a nice little buckle, not that old though, it's got this because it's pressed rather than solid. And there's this buckle, this is a solid one, probably a bit older, but it's got a nice little crack in it right there. And we move on to this. It's got a hole in it, so it's probably around someone's neck at some point. I don't quite understand why, but it appears to be a one penny token. Uh, you probably see it better on the uh, pictures. Um, with a coat of arms on the back, which is not the British coat of arms. So I've not been able to find out where that's from or anything like that, but I shall persevere. And I've got a Victorian halfpenny, young head, Victoria. Uh, you'll be able to see that better in the photographs as well. And we've got this, which I th I'm pretty 100% sh sure is silver. Um, looks like it probably used to be a bell. But yeah, nice little bit of silver on the day. And here we have a silver plated cufflink. I know it's a cufflink, it's got a little chain on the back. See that? It's good, isn't it? I pick it's only plated though, that would have been cool if that was solid. And we have three musket balls. Well, I'd say they're probably pistol balls because of the size of them. Um, I've got a musket ball somewhere else with a lot bigger. Oops. This one has still got part of the sprue on it, so it hasn't been filed off, so it clearly hasn't been fired. You can see that bit right there. This one here has clearly been fired because it's got a big ding out of it right there. And this one is a little bit misshapen, so I'm unsure whether that's been fired or not. And we have a lead button. It's too small to be a dress, or dress weight or a hem weight, it's too small to be a curtain weight, so it's got to be what it actually is, is a button. Which some of these lead buttons actually are Tudor, but this one's got no decoration on it, so I'm pretty, pretty certain it's later than that. And here we have two flat buttons, quite nice. Both of them still have their shank on, see? That one. And that one. Thanks for watching guys, we'll be out again soon. Um, I'm actually out again tomorrow, so hopefully I'll have another video up in the next few days. We're good. See you next time guys.